What's up, people? Welcome back to the Bearable Project. This is episode 88 with Jeremiah Jones, winner of the Vegas shoot. Um, also, before we go any further, a couple of announcements. So, one, the episodes, you get a good chunk if you're just watching this from like the audio version or listening on the audio version, watching it on Spotify or watching it on YouTube. However, if you join Patreon, you get access to the full episodes of not just this, but also the Peak Archer podcast, which, by the way, you Barebo Project listeners, we just started a whole series on the mental game. There's going to be a 12-part series on the mental game and archery over at the Peak Archer podcast. And Patreon is super inexpensive. So, listen, no pressure. If you want to support it, if you get something good, positive, or maybe funny out of the Barebo Project, go sign up for Patreon. Get yourself a free t-shirt after like three months and go from there. See, see if it's something you want to... Plus, you get some free coaching involved. So, you know, hey, whatever. On top of that, though, Arizona, Ben Avery, Aim, um, um, yeah, Aim Point Archery, I think it is, is the name of the the Joad Club that we're going to be working with. I'm going to Advanced Barebow Seminar there next month in March. Go sign up for that seminar. It's like... Two days of nothing but everything barebow. Mental game, tuning, shot process, form, the whole the whole gamut. So go check that out. Um, try to sign up for it. And then in April, I'm doing an advanced seminar. It's an abbreviated version. It's much shorter. Um, eight hours total, two sessions of four hours apiece online. So you can sign up for that as well. So check that out. Enjoy this episode. You got to go forward. You got to push harder. Excuses, get out of my way. That's what this is about. So you got to recognize when it gets tough, you better get tough. Easy does not count. Easy does not work. You can't cheat your way up. You got to push your way up. I'm on the computer and I'm going to go live on Facebook. Hello, Instagram. You guys are probably going to be logging in here live, recording episode 88 with Vegas Barebo Champ. It's got a nice ring to it, my friend. Jeremiah Jones. It's a great name. <laughs> it's a great name. Uh, Two... Watch the full, the full live episode. Join us on Patreon. There's Ryan Davis is slow, and Ryan Davis is on Instagram right now watching. There's his, there's his wonderful music. <laughs> he was teasing me. He's like, dude, you picked good music. You you pick good music from my slow motion video. I said I said, do you have any faith in me, Ryan Davis? I actually enjoy those slow motion videos, and I I want to get some of you um at your earliest convenience because yeah you know through this coaching journey that I've been through um hold on one second let me find here it is um I've definitely you know, been convinced that archery is, is a, um, it's all, especially barebow. There's definitely best practices to like shot cycle and form and stuff like that. But, yeah. you know, but you can make anything work, not anything, but you can make most things work, but it definitely, yeah. it definitely makes it easier when, when what you're doing is like, like, good positioning and the, your brain's in the right place you know stuff like that but all yeah. right live recording so we're good there we're going to live on the facebook page real quick hey you guys that are watching on instagram if you happen to be on facebook go to facebook and share the live stream from the page would you please i would be forever grateful all right, so what happens is I have to put the live feed up so people are, like, throwing out questions. Usually it's just, like, yeah. Have you watched any of the live feed, like, podcast recordings? Oh, you yeah, have? I have. 
a few okay, of them. So, so sh shenanigans usually are involved, but we're yeah, doing things yeah. a little bit different now, everyone. Um, we're going to let this live feed build up. We were going to record tonight, but I was going to Lancaster. I'm still wearing my, I walked in the house and went right to recording with this guy. Um, we decided to move it up on account of the Super Bowl. So Jeremiah, tell me, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I I'm guess. in Pennsylvania, so you better be careful with who you pick. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I'm, I'm in uh, Missouri, Southwest Missouri. So, okay. all right. Uh, kind of got to go with the Chiefs. Yeah. They're geographically, you don't have a choice. Listen, yeah, I, I understand yeah. that because that's exactly why I'm rooting for the Eagles. I am a Steelers <laughs> fan. I've been a Steelers fan my entire life. It's, you know, my wife's an Eagles fan. I did not. I did not pre-screen that before I asked her to marry me, but I don't hold it against her either. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to say it, go Eagles. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyways, man, welcome to the Barebow Project. Uh, oh, I forgot to say, I, everyone, listen, changing the format a little bit. Some of you might not like it. And well, shit happens if you don't. Um I am going to be recording live. We'll probably go live for 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30. And then um, we're going to cut the live and finish the podcast um, on Zoom while I'm with Jeremiah and then anyone from the Patreon page that joins in the Zoom live. Um, it just, it's easier um, for me. Um, it gives, it, it, it gives a, and that's going to be all the podcasts moving forward. Like you're, unless the full version of the podcast is only going to be available to Patreon members. Um, and it's because those people are going out of their way to support the Barebow project and allows us to support Barebow. And I want to make their contribution and their support mean something more. Um, you know, you're still going to get lots of free content and there's going to be tons of it, but you know, um, the lives are going to be a little bit different moving forward. So it is what it is. Um, if you are interested and you definitely know you want to listen to all of the podcasts and their full length, um, hop over to Patreon and join up. Like it's like anywhere from like five bucks a month to like 20 bucks a month. It's like, listen, I spend more money on this crap in a month's time that I do on that. So, um, but at any rate, moving forward, sorry for that quick uh, tutorial. Jeremiah Jones, young buck out there, <laughs> topping the podium in Vegas. Welcome to the Variable Project, my guy. Where are you at right Thanks now? For having me. I am at a local pro, pro shop here in uh, Joplin, Missouri, uh, Outback Archery. So, Outback Archery, I have to look that up. They have a shooting range there? Yeah. They do have a small shooting range here. Okay. Is that uh, where you practice or no? Uh, sometimes when I can, when they're open and stuff. But most of the time I practice at home and we have a nice size shop. So You have, uh, so you have like your own like shop at your, like in a barn or a, a garage or something and, and a little shooting range there? Yeah, we have Ooh, a yeah, 60 okay. by 40 shop and uh, yeah, so I can Is shoot. Is it an archery shop or another business shop? No, it's just our a shop at home, our shop building. Gotcha. Just building. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Who man, that's a huge benefit. That's a huge benefit. Yes. Yep. I would give yep. anything to be able to shoot indoors at home for sure. Um, well, like at my property, I should say. Um yeah. okay. So let's let's just get started. I mean, you everybody knows who you are now you won vegas um at a strapping 20 years old i must say um what are you do you are, so are you in college no college you work what's your what's your mo there so i i was in college okay. i tried a a little less than a semester at uh, lindenwood university okay I, I was shooting for them for a little less than a semester, went to a couple tournaments and decided the college thing wasn't for me. So I'm back home now. Respect for that. Yep. 100%. 
Um, yeah. No, that's cool. I mean, now you can concentrate on shooting. However, now that you're 20 years old and are shooting archery the way you are, I'm sure there's some college coaches that would love to have you. Just saying, <laughs> you know, you yeah. don't. Uh, I saw you. So I don't know if you listened to one of the last couple of podcasts. I saw you shooting before we all shot at Lancaster on the practice range because you're shooting like a couple bales over. And I'm like, yeah. I'm watch, I'm watching this kid. And I'm like, and hey, he looks young. And I'm like, <laughs> he's hammering the gold right now, shooting them skinny little arrows. And I'm like, this kid has, has something going on. And if he keeps, if he shoots like this on the quals, he's going to, he's going to be in the mix. And I watched you shoot some qualification. I watched you shoot in the head to heads. And I was like, there's, there's some younger shooters that are coming up um, that are just, I said, I was teasing you before we went live here. And I was like, damn young <laughs> kids and their, and their young <laughs> eyes. Um, but I, I don't want to take that away from your talent, man, because you have a beautiful shot. And so it's, it's cool to, to, to see the younger people, coming into the sport and having success early on. Um, so let's talk about you getting into the sport. How, how did it, how did you find bear bow? That's that, and go back your, to your earliest experience with archery and what, and bring us up to current day. Yeah. So I've always had like a little toy bow at home and stuff, but, um, my sister, I have an older sister, seven years older than me and an older brother. Uh, my sister was a senior whenever the NAS program got introduced to our uh, high school. And uh, the coach is actually my neighbor. Okay. So, so she, uh, my sister started in the program and I was able to go in with them and practice a little bit here and there. And I was in third grade at that point. And uh, then I got up to sixth grade and they uh, opened up middle school team for NAS. I started competing then um, and then shot throughout high school and ended up shooting a 300 my junior year, right? Two weeks before everything shut down uh, for COVID. And then I graduated and got shooting uh, with uh, Darren Rogers. And he convinced me to pick up a bear bow. So I nice. did that. And, okay. Yeah. All right. So what, when was, what, what happened with picking up barebow then what was the next progression you shot did you shoot asa last year i did not i shot ibo ibo the triple okay round. okay yep. all right so so 3d was sort of your first go around then with barebow yeah yeah definitely i hadn't shot an indoor face until iowa last year okay that was the first time um was that i was a, a pro-am iowa pro-am yeah. is that am i remembering yeah, yeah. i i know i've seen the name of that tournament i just i don't obviously i've never shot i don't uh i know robbie shoots that i think robbie weiss yeah right and yep. spanky and um so so how did ibo how did you come to okay i'm gonna shoot indoor archery with that transfer from ibo you didn't shoot compound or you did shoot some compound not not nasp compound i'm talking bow honor yeah did you shoot that prior to that i picked one up for a few months um throughout high school my senior year and then um uh, darren convinced me to pick up it pick up bear bow in july of 21 mm -hmm. and that was going into my freshman year of college. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. So NASP kid turned transferred to Barabo, jumped into IBO. Um, there's a big difference be between shooting a 3D animal and an indoor face. That's for sure. Um, yep. Yep. Um, well, but go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I shot IBOs throughout high school with the, the NASP IBO challenge. And gotcha. then uh, okay. I, went, I went to the um, IBO Worlds and mm -hmm. Snowshoe was the first year. Uh, my uh, sophomore year, I think, of high school. Okay. And uh, shot there. And then I, I shot a bunch of them since. Yeah. So. Um. So then let's get into the woods of, of your first experience of indoor Iowa pro-am, you know, how, how did, how, how did you get from, I'm going to shoot Iowa pro-am and then carry that all the way to Lancaster? 
what does it look like? What does what does Jeremiah's indoor and practice? What does it all look like for you to go from there to or not like a Sir Vegas? Um. Well, I just shoot a lot of arrows whenever just, I can, and just shoot a lot yeah. of arrows. Yeah. Yeah. Good quality arrows, you know. But yeah. Do you have a coach? Uh, not sort of. really. I mean, oh. just uh any questions i'll contact darren or some other buddies no that's cool um how did you learn the tuna recurve and go through all that a lot of phone calls with darren and spanky and uh jared mullis and stuff like that okay some people okay so you have some other people within within with yeah. your within your circle that you can uh bounce things off of yeah yeah okay good good and uh what on a weekly basis how many arrows are you shooting um it varies week to week but um i'd say probably nightly 100 150 sometimes up to three or four hundred arrows a night but so you're working full time often. you're working full time correct yeah okay yes so so you're working full time job, um, and practicing archery pretty much every day. It looks yeah, like you, yeah. You, I think you froze for a second, and that's that's okay. Yeah. It'll it'll probably catch up. Um, okay, no, and I ask I ask that every episode, and whoever's whoever is on the episode or whatever the situation is, I get into I get into that. Um, and it, and because people need to hear that, they need to hear that, you know, 500 arrows in a week practice, you will make leaps and bounds. Yeah. Leaps and bounds. Um, yep. I shot for the this past week, I shot 200 arrows of practice in that had a, a, a back thing going on, but just need a couple of days off. And then shot today, and I shot better archery today than I've shot. I mean, score wasn't amazing, but yep. it was only a handful of arrows that kept the score from being amazing. And I can honestly say that, like, it's amazing what practice actually does. So yes. hearing you go from a contender at Vegas or at Lancaster to champion at Vegas, saying that you're shooting 100 to, you said almost 300? Hold on one second. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta let somebody uh into the that's joining us live right now. One second. Oh well, no, he was there and he left. Um, yeah, so you know, like people need to hear that and understand like this yeah. is the commitment to being to sitting in the the on the podium where you are is the the real commitment is a hundred and I 50 60 a night 500 300 200 a week whatever it is that's the commitment if you're yeah. not prepared for, to make that commitment you know whenever i first started nasp i was shooting five to six hundred arrows every single night wow dude that's yeah. impressive that's i was shooting in a much. greenhouse it, What's yeah, that? It, i was shooting in a greenhouse so it, all throughout winter i was able to shoot five to six hundred arrows a night crucial to success yeah well and, it, and i'm not surprised to hear that man because i watched I, wa I i watched you pretty closely i was like borderline stalker watching you in the practice i was <laughs> like this kid's form is impeccable um just con super consistent you put it there it looks like from from a coach overview i don't like to walk up to people and offer like not offer even talk like unsolicited i don't i don't do that ever uh, unless yeah. someone asks or they ask for help or whatever. But I like, I was like, you see somebody like, like, it looks like you just put it in the middle and it doesn't move. That's what it looks like. Um, so let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. What does your shot process okay. look like? Are you shooting a tabs here? Are you shooting triggerless? Are you shooting what are you doing? Uh,
Hey, remember, if you want to listen to the rest of episode 88, go over, join Patreon, click the link, and listen to the rest of Jeremiah's story and his shot process.